This is Sean Plew from Hitters.com. Today I want to talk to you about barrel path, path of the bat, and how it relates to the swing, and how the best hitters in the world used a very similar swing path to hit the ball with consistency and power and really generated a swing path that can be adjustable to all pitches and locations and hit for power. So in this clip we have Barry Bonds, arguably the best hitter ever. And yes, he drops his hands, he hitches and, and tips the barrel forward and drops the back shoulder. A lot of things that traditional coaches would look at and say that that's not how you do it. But when you look at these movements, we need to understand that he's doing a whole lot of things the right way. And when we can learn to recognize what he's doing the right way, we can really start to understand um, how he was able to be as good as he was. So I want to stop the video here and take a look at where he swings from. Let's take a look at where he holds the barrel and where he's actually swinging from. So look at the angle of the bat. I mean, look at the coaches don't teach this. This is, this is where he holds the bat and this is a very leveraged position, right? He's, he's leveraged the bat. He's given himself room with the barrel of the bat to really create a lot of bat speed back in here and a lot of momentum. You can see the bats getting up the speed back in here, right? This is a fast move. The ball, the ball is halfway to him and look where the barrel is, right? This move has to be done fast. So you'll see the back elbow drop down, the front elbow come up and he's created this, this really loose, uh, hingy kind of momentum with the barrel of the, of the bat and that carries around and into the swing, right? So this kind of action, right? The, the direction of the barrel going this way, getting really hingy and twisting around the hands. There's another clip I want to show you here. So this is what it looks like from the top view, right? Again, very similar barrel position. Obviously this is Manny Ramirez. He holds his hands a bit higher than Bonds does, but very similar position with the barrel. And I want you to notice the direction of the barrel and how it spins around the hands and into contact. There's a ton of bat speed being created in here, right? And notice the hands have, for the most part, stayed at the shoulder, right? The shape that he started with is, is maintained through the swing, right? And a ton of bat speed has been created here without the arms extending away from the shoulder and without him really spinning his body too much. Look at the barrel speed up without his shoulders really twisting off the ball. So this is where we talk about what these hitters are doing right and, and why it's advantageous to look at these guys. The best way I can describe it is they're able to create bat speed independent of their shoulders. So you'll see a lot of them, the bat will be up to speed or the bat will move about 10 to 12 inches before the shoulders ever turn. So here's Ted Williams, very similar to Barry Bonds, right? Extremely similar, carries his hands low, has a hitch, you know, drops his back shoulder down in there, all of it. But notice the path of the bat, all of this path right here. Bat's moving, bat's moving, bat's moving. Before the shoulders ever open up, the bat's all the way down into here. And then it comes around and into the baseball. Some people would call this a loop in the swing. Um, this is not just a lefty thing either. This is not, there's nothing wrong about this. Not a single thing. This is how the best hitters in the world hit the baseball. This is, this is how it's done. We use them as the example. There's not a better way to hit than this. I promise you. So, Ted Williams. 
Babe Ruth. Same exact bat path. Starts here, barrels tip forward, hands are down. Now, I'm not saying hold your hands low. Uh, typically, especially nowadays, you see guys hold their hands at the back shoulder with the back elbow up. Uh, I like that. This feel in the hands and getting on plane back in here and, and moving the bat independent of the shoulders stays, needs to be there even when your hands are up. So again, same kind of deal, creating momentum back here with the barrel, carrying it through and into contact. Here's a more modern hitter, David Ortiz, same kind of deal. Look at where he's swinging from, right? And to me, the swing starts when the barrel moves, right? The ball's in the air, right? It's coming. So he better do something quick from this position, right? That means he's swinging from this position. All this movement where the hands are going up and back, right? And kind of in, right? They're coming in towards his body. This is not throw the hands. This is hands away from the ball. This is creating stretch and, and good bat path and deep barrel path. If you haven't heard those terms before, well, you just did. This is the key to how these hitters are as good as they are. So, notice where he starts the hands. And as the ball comes, he's pulling them back, pulling them back, twisting the bat around his hands. Again, creating that momentum. Now, is this an absolute? Not necessarily, but I think it definitely helps with adjustability and creating bat speed. And this is... A very good looking upper body. This is this is what you like to see out of a hitter. Jimmy Fox. Notice the bat path. Right? All of this momentum and this speed and this adjustability is happening back in there. And that really allows for the lower body to lead the movement and, and a ton of really nice things. This is how you create bat speed independent of the shoulders. And this is how you be, how you can be adjustable to all pitches and locations, is by creating bat speed independent of your body turning. A lot of coaches struggle with kids pulling off the baseball and, and turning their front shoulder open. This is the only way to fix that, is, is to learn how to create bat speed independent of the shoulders. Josh Donaldson. Same kind of bat path. Right? Same position we saw Bonds. Look at the barrel. Look where he's holding it. Look where the ball is. Right? This is where he's swinging from. This is a leveraged position. If you, if you Try this position, it might feel weird at first, but this is how they swing. This is where they're swinging from. And look, he really gets into here. The ball's more than halfway to him, and look where the barrel is, right? Really, really nice hitting position here. Really nice barrel action. Drop it down in here, he's on plane with the pitch now. Now the hands can come forward. Now the shoulders can turn. But look how far the barrel moved before the shoulders turned. This barrel moved 20 inches in space before his, his upper body opened up. Look how much tension is created between the upper and lower body here. This is how you produce power as a smaller guy. This is how it's done. Here's Miguel Cabrera. Again, he holds his hands a little higher, but same similar position with the barrel tipped, right? And he's twisting this bat around his hands. See that twisting action happen. Again, independent of his shoulders. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. This has been Sean Plew from Hitterish.com. Catch you next time.